emotions are running wild. Uh, some people are even having like a physical releases, feeling fluy. It's a big full moon. It's a big full moon. And it's in Leo. It's about creativity. It's about moving forward. It's about energy. This full moon is the start of the eclipses for the rest of this year. So there's going to be one in fair, but then again, later on in the year as well. And all I can say is, the most important thing is now is the time to focus on what is you really want. What is it that you really want? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to be happy in a relationship? Do you want to be in alignment with your highest good? And being in alignment with your highest good is a choice. Looking back at the past and how things fell apart, whether it be in relationships or in business, is not the best idea. Now's the time to focus on all that you can do to improve your situation, to improve your life. Not looking back, but looking most definitely forward on all the things that you do want, all the things that you want to achieve. So, this lunar eclipse, the card that I'm going to pull from a tarot deck and then one from the romance deck because it's affecting love, finance, and every aspect of our lives. Mm. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is all about emotion. I am falling in love. It's about, it's about a youthful kind of creativity and energy that's coming through. It's not about anything negative. It's about positivity. It's about falling through with these emotions. It's about basically feeling passionate about something and falling through, whether it be love, whether it be anything else, whether it be a job. It's about the start of creativity. It's about the start of emotion. you got to start somewhere. So you need to start here with the Page of Cups and not think about everything that's happened in the other suits, which is like Ten of, of Cups and all of that and um, Five of Cups. You've been through this long journey. You've been through the journey of last year, which brought about a lot of breakups, a lot of endings of situations, even business, um, uh, where you're working in a specific way with the... Um, for a specific group and now it's coming to an end. Now the time is coming to an end for you to release it, heal it, move forward and see what is you can take forward to basically bring about more passion and existing love into your life. Focus on you now. Focus on what it is you want to achieve for yourself and nobody else. You are that shining star. You are that page of cups. You are the one stirring that cup. And basically looking into it to see all the possibilities that you can achieve. So that's the third card. Romance. But romance, let's see what we need to do with this full moon. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's time now to honestly discuss yourself and your feelings with somebody. Really see what it is and where you want to go forward. If you in, in and this is for any relationship, business, finance, uh, partnerships, holistic healer, whoever you're in a relationship with, it's now time to have that honest heart to heart conversation and see which way you want to go forward. It's not easy out here, and you got to kind of share your feelings in order to see where you need to go forward. Anything other than that is blocking you. You need to be honest, and you need to see. Not honest in a point where you self sabotage and yourself feel like, oh no, this is not gonna work, that's not gonna work, I can't do that. That's ego talking. So, honestly, sharing your feelings and from your feelings with that person, seeing where you can come to a common goal. Or if not, then it's time to release the situation. But you need to share these feelings in order to see what exactly it is that you want and what exactly is that they want and how you can come to a common goal in order to achieving what is to move forward because lots of people are having blocks now because mainly they're not being honest with their feelings and they're not sharing where they want to be where the other person wants to be and they're kind of creating an obstacle let go of that obstacle let go of that challenge and see the solution when there's an obstacle or a challenge the biggest part to heal is finding the solution the solution will get you through if you keep on focusing on the problem, you're not going to heal the situation, you're not going to move forward, you're just going to keep going around in circles. And going around in circles is going to self-sabotage you. So, share your feelings, but to the point where you can also be like, this is how I feel, how do we move forward? 
and see if you can move forward and take it from there. This is what the full moon is about. Being honest with yourself. Being honest about where you want to be. Being honest with what you want to do to heal yourself. Anything other than that is just blocking you. And focusing on the negative is also just going to block you. So focus on the positive. Fill yourself with love and light. And take the chance with this super lunar eclipse full moon in Leo and see where it is you want to go. With that being said, I suggest that the crystal that's the best used at this time would be, and I'm damn going to choose, rose quartz. It's a very pale rose quartz, but this is rose quartz. It's almost like, again, with sharing your feelings. It's just both the cards, if you look at sharing your feelings and the page of cups, it's all to do with heartfelt emotion. It's all to do with sharing your deepest, deepest heart. Your heart needs to be in it. So look for putting your heart in it. Focus on this rose quartz. Meditate with rose quartz to basically open your heart to your creative ideas. Open your heart to being with other people. Open your heart to sharing your feelings. Open your heart to using your creativity, your passion, your passion in your relationships, your passion in your job, your passion in your creative talents, your passion in your career and purpose. Fulfill it to the best of your abilities. You can do this. You are a star and you can work with this full moon to enhance your life. Rose quartz will definitely help you. Share your feelings. Page of Cups is there to allow your heart to be in it and ask for the best possible guidance from above to come through. I feel like the message is basically share the good, share the blessings, share the love, focus on those things. If you're not sharing blessings, love or anything else, you're only just dropping your energy and lowering your vibration. We all make mistakes. Forgive yourself for the past. Forgive yourself and forgive others for how they've treated you in the past, whether they were narcissistic, mean, whatever the case may be. And focus on the divine energy that flows through all of us that can heal all of us and bring about our best healing. Thank you all for watching this Lunar Eclipse Full Moon video.